again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and today I have a rummage sale haul. So the season has officially kicked off here in Tennessee. There are rummage sales every single weekend right now, multiple ones so I'm sort of booking it to get to all of them. Um, and so I have been sourcing, you can't see my pile here but it's really big. So I went out on um, Saturday and uh, basically ended up picking up about 51 items which worked out to a dollar twenty-four a piece in case you're wondering about my average cost of goods. It's actually a little bit higher than it usually is with rummage sales usually it's a dollar or below um but that's okay i don't mind one bit i got some really good stuff i got some staples to just kind of keep my ebay store and my poshmark closet kind of ticking over um, and i'm going to show them to you real quick if you're new here this is a channel all about reselling online i sell on ebay poshmark and vintage goods on etsy um, and i do that while being a stay-at-home parent so i have the kind of work-life balance thing going on that i share on this channel as well so i'll show you Whole videos, sales videos, day in the life, tips and tutorials and all kinds of other cool stuff in between. So if you're interested, please do think about hitting that subscribe button down below and don't forget to say hello in the comments so that I can say hi back. Alright, so rummage sales. I love them. I'm so excited that it started, I can't even tell you. Um, so let's just get stuck in pretty much. I'm just going to show you what I picked up. Like I said, a buck twenty-four a piece. Um, and this is the first piece I'm going to show. I'm just going to dive in. I'm like thinking, what else do I need to say? But I really don't need to say anything. I just need to show you guys what all I bought. Um, so this is Flax. I absolutely love picking up this brand. Um, for me, it sells really good, really quickly. Um, it's a size small. It's 100% linen. They always have such a nice little like saying inside that differs each one. This is just a nice boxy um, sort of coral coloured short sleeve top. Definitely would use the uh, keyword lagon look for this just because it does have that kind of feel to it, that kind of style. Um, I also, someone enjoyed this last time but I call it my like art teacher look that's what I think of when I think of lag and look but yes this this was a good find for a book okay the next piece is express 111 I don't know it's an extra small but I grabbed it because it is a burnout kind of ombre-ish graphic tee just good for the season says the ocean made me salty can't go wrong little tank top so maybe like $15 on that oh I should tell you as well the flax um, will probably go for around the $25 to $30 mark, if not just a little bit higher. Okay, next piece is just Old Navy. It's a size 12. I actually picked it up for myself and I just didn't like how it fit, but I picked it up also with it in the back of my mind that if I didn't like how it fit, it would sell based on style and stuff, which I think I do automatically now whenever I buy anything for myself. It has a really nice sort of flared, almost like a bell sleeve. Um, it's a three quarter length sleeve. It's somewhat structured in the middle. It's a dress and it has a tied keyhole detail at the back. So a really nice kind of boho festival style piece and such a nice bold floral print. Um, I think that that will do pretty good. I'll probably list that around $20. I feel like I have to apologize for the lighting situation. It's a really, really overcast day outside. However, this is my only day to film anything so I'm gonna soldier through and do my best to keep that lighting look the sun just came out <laughs> forgive me I'm doing my best to try and keep it consistent but you know you get what you get with a uh, with nature and March in Tennessee all right Victoria say stop babbling Carly uh Victoria's Secret this is I don't know if I've seen this label before I don't know if that's older or what it is it's a size small um I was hoping I actually picked this up put it in my bag hoping I would find the bottoms and I didn't and then I just kind of ended up buying it but that's fine um it is a button front pajama top and it has a crazy print on it almost makes me think of um oh what is that Lisa Frank. It makes me think of Lisa Frank almost. So I think it will still sell as it is just on its own. You know, you could put wear like a little pair of black shorts or whatever with it, but I was hoping I would find its friend and I never did. All right, the next piece was actually another one I picked up for myself and it just ended up being too big. It is a 1X, so it's a plus size. It should still do okay. I still think I'll get about you know $15 out of it it's denim and company but I like the style it's a mild cream long sleeve t-shirt v-neck and then it has a really cool faux leather quilted detail on the shoulder which is why I liked it just a very simple classic piece with a pair of jeans um but yes anyway it was a little too oversized on me so I will sell it and I love that I can do that <laughs> the next piece is 
Eddie Bauer and I grabbed this so it's a vest it's a quilted vest and I grabbed it because it is goose down I actually got two of these I got this brown one and another black one that I'll show you in a little while so nice for fall and for spring really they're a size medium um just very nice little staples 15 to 20 a pair of jeans these are Levi's they are the uh super lows the super low stretch I usually only buy these in like the full size jeans I don't know if I've seen them in denim shorts but they're just a nice classic pair of denim shorts you know 12 to 15 maybe next is American Eagle but it is the soft and sexy line which is pretty much the only American Eagle line that I pick up now other than certain types of their denim I don't even know if you can see that it's a size large it is a v-neck striped it's the soft and sexy plush so it's very very soft <laughs> it's really really nice um, again not tip top for the season but it'll be okay the next is just a hooded nike top and um, i grabbed it i like the colors it's like a very bold teal with this kind of lime green accent it is long sleeved like i said it is hooded and i also like the fact that it is a waffle knit there we go um just a really nice athletic piece it is a women's size extra well maybe it's maybe it's i don't know is it a girl's extra large that seems a little small for the extra large but it has a lot of stretch to it i have to do some research they have a style number in there so i can look that up next is a very pretty sort of mint green uh tank top it's by j jill but i grabbed it because it has some good keywords it's uh medium so it's a v-neck tank and it does have this like smocked detail and i find that the smocking is doing quite well right now as well so i went ahead and popped that in my bag again a lot of these pieces are things that are going to allow me to list five to ten items per day minimum which i really like to do because i feel like that level of activity really helps my stores and um, move multiple items per day and um, so while i'm looking for items that sell for a good profit margin i'm also looking for enough items to really keep me going listing as much as possible per day and therefore sort of inducing more activity i hope that makes sense all right this piece is um a little out of season as well it's talbot's i think it's the factory piece as well it's a six petite but I grabbed this and another one as well purely because they are a nice plaid wool blend skirt um here's the other one i'll just show you right after this one's actually a size four this has like almost like a buffalo plaid print to it which is kind of cool blue and black um i do pretty well with the plaid wool pencil skirts when the time comes around um and these were actually they even out to the dollar 24 but they were 50 cents a piece at one of the sales so i went ahead and stuck them in my bag um another talbot's piece fairly new tag it's a size four petite and again this is so nice for this time of year and um, it's actually a textured knit with the pink and the white I'm not sure what I would call this print I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research but again another nice little sort of springy pencil skirt very lightweight all right next piece is I think vintage in terms of like late 90s here is the tag cute options um it is a size medium i'll have to i don't know if i'll even find anything on this tag but i grabbed it because of the style so like i'm thinking sort of boho festival season it is very very cropped um like it's almost like a little bralette type top um so it has no padding in the cups or anything like that but it's all floral embroidery which is really cute um and then the back is actually like a lace-up so i think for festival season and stuff i think that's really cool i think it's gonna look good on my mannequin as a just like cute little quirky vintage boho piece so i'm thinking maybe like 20 to 25 on that next is the north face size large women's yellow t-shirt with like a pink graphic on the front it's very very simple 12 to 15. the next piece i kind of wish fit me because i think it's really cute so it's altered state this is an interesting brand to me it actually retails pretty darn high and um, down here in the south i'm pretty sure it's marketed as like a christian clothing store like slightly more modest but still sort of very on trend um and like i said it retails high down here but the resale value is not huge so i only ever pick up this um brand when i really like the style or it's super cheap one or the other um so i liked this which is why i grabbed it. actually I, and it was super cheap so both are both factors but i did like it um it has almost like it's not really an empire waist but it kind of like cinches in the waist and then flares out this is really hard to show you and be on camera at the same time really really cute prints it's lined underneath and it has sheer sleeves with like a little kind of button cuff and then it has the keyhole 
at the back as well like I said it's a size medium I just thought the whole thing was really really nice it definitely has that kind of free people-y type vibe to it like again that kind of boho festival hippie vibe um so I went ahead and picked it up Next is a vintage collegiate sweatshirt. If you see my channel for any length of time, you know that I love these. Uh, Pro Player made in the USA. This is a size 14, 16. Um, there you go. It's actually a specific one, which I find can actually help. So back to back champions, 97, 98, the Tennessee Volunteers. This is in really, really good shape. So, you know, she had some sweatshirts there for 50 cents. I usually sell them for like 30 to 35 a pop. And I usually store them up a little bit and then come sort of August, September when people start going to school, I just like list them en masse. Um, however, if I ran out of things to list, I would totally throw them up now. They're just not my priority right this second. And this one is also vintage. It's a tall tech made in the USA and this one is what is it Road to the Super Bowl the Colts Super Bowl 2000 made in 1999 so it's just squeaking past as vintage with that 20 year mark and um, but I'm still going to go ahead and list it as that since it's so darn close um just a graphic sweatshirt all right next is a pair of men's shoes and this was the only pair of shoes i actually got there was not much going on in the shoe department um ignore the three dollars i got them for less um and they are just a pair of keens they actually do have a little bit of wear at the back in terms of the label is starting to peel off which i find does happen and um, they'll have a style number inside of these so i will be able to look them up and know exactly what they are but they're a size i think it's men's 13 in really good shape otherwise they definitely do need like you know a good clean and things like that and they have a little bit of give around the toe with the leather it's not a through hole at all it's just a tiny little bit of give um but these things retail high so i'll probably still be able to get a good 25 out of those so next i picked up this john deere hat one of my kind of reseller resolutions as it were is to learn a little bit more about vintage hats and specific brands this year so when they're cheap enough i'm picking them up so i can do some more research and start to learn uh, this is john deere nothing runs like a deer and i don't know much about these apart from some vintage ones can go for really really good money and um, this has a couple things going for it that i knew would help it has the mesh back it's the trucker hat style so it's the mesh back and it has the snap back as well um now it's made in it's an older tag so i think it's 90s it's made in china this nissan or nissin brand i should say um but it's in really really good shape barely any marks the foam isn't giving way or disintegrating like so often can happen in these vintage trucker hats and i figured it was a good place to start for a book 24 I can sell that and make my money back if it's absolutely nothing but if it's good or it teaches me what is good then it's worth my money as well if that makes sense so I'm going to learn something hopefully from that hat oh this is just the other Eddie Bauer uh quilted goose down vest so again 15 to 20 maybe on that this I grabbed because it was new with tags and the comps looked fairly okay. I think it's a boutique brand. I'm not sure. It's Michelle Nicole. Um, I really only grabbed it because I liked the style and it was new. And then the comps, you know, like I said, they were they were fair. It's a very, very chunky charcoal grave, like fisherman style sweater, which is a pretty popular style I find come fall and winter. And it has kind of like the high, almost like a turtleneck. Um, and then here are the Here's the tags down here. So I will be sort of testing out that brand and seeing if it will sell even on style alone if the brand isn't that good. Time will tell. Okay, this is a White House Black Market piece. It's a size large. No, it's not. I tell a lie. It's a size six. Come on now. Um, that's the older tag. The newer tag is sort of written all in one line. It's kind of like a more modern font, but I like the style. It's a dark wash denim jacket. It has almost like a military vibe to it. And it has a ruffle detail on the neckline and is that the and oh uh, yeah down by like the bottom hem as well has a little bit of like a pleated ruffle detail so overall i thought a really nice style probably list that around the 30 dollar mark i love my weird sweaters i can't help myself so this is stitches in time it's a size 1x which is probably in its favor as well um ow what is spiking me oh lord mystery spikes i don't like that i'm gonna have to figure that out <laughs> um okay and the pattern is just kind of like a farmhouse pattern so You've got chickens, you've got a barn, you have le random letters. Eh, I don't know. Um, and then on this side as well, we have like a rooster situation happening and a little picnic-y type basket. So yeah, overall, just a nice novelty 
weird sweater those can do pretty good depending on the pattern or the brand and stuff like that so usually when they're cheap enough i pick them up this is vintage i don't know it's norton's point i don't know anything about the brand i think it's a cool label though definitely more towards the kind of 50s and 60s i would say it was made in korea 100 percent acrylic I just love these vintage tags. They give me good feels. I don't know. Um, but I like the print. So it's a very neutral, like browns with a sort of Nordic fair isle. I would almost describe this style knit pattern. It's actually quite lightweight. So it'd be really good for fall. Um, I just I just like the style. I don't know. And I tend to sell those around the $20 mark. This piece needs a little bit of help de-pilling it just has a bit of pilling happening underneath the uh, arms there won't take me but a minute to take care of it but it's intimately free people size medium oh come along there we go it's just a black like very loose well very uh light knit that's what i'm trying to say lightweight like light knit um long sleeve top and then the sleeves these long sleeves have this very odd like ruching style detail I don't know i'm gonna have a job photographing that i can tell but just a nice little basic this i grabbed because of style um so i like to sell like there's flax there's hot cotton brin walker um there's lots of different sort of these lag and look style linen boxy fit brands sometimes jay jill does some pieces like that and i'm always looking for other brands like that because they move so well for me they seem to be really popular so i found this the brand is willow it's a size medium for my comps i think i'm going to be able to get around 2025 20, for this that's not too bad but it's very much in the same style um it has some really cute like layering sort of tiered detail happening on the sleeves and on the bottom here as well with these buttons and stuff i just thought it was really neat so i went ahead and grabbed it the comps are not as strong for this brand as they would be for say flax um but still i am glad to hopefully learn a new one and i think style alone will do well with that piece all right, this is another one that I should have mentioned a second ago. In the same category, it is Cut Loose. This sells pretty good as well. It's a pretty good, sh um, pretty good like and look type brand. Often does a lot of linens. It's a size small. This is a really nice lavender purple piece. And yes, it is a button front. We've got kind of rolled up sleeves. Just again, it's hard to show you really without it being buttoned up, but just that loose boxy fit button up shirt. Probably $30 or so on that one. Right, next one is Talbots it's a 1x I do like selling Talbots plus size it seems to do pretty good and go pretty fast for me and this is a novelty sweater with penguins so can't go wrong in my opinion um, and I'm not sure about the fabric content let's be nosy for a second and check it out it's a lamb's wool blend so there you go that also goes in its favor but yes that's pretty much a no-brainer for me with the size and the brand and the novelty print and the fabric content Next is a brand I'm not familiar with. Again, it has that lagging look to it, so I kind of took a chance on it. I think it's vintage. Neil and David is the brand. It made in the USA. It definitely looks like a vintage tag to me, being all papery and faded and whatnot. Um, but I thought the style, I don't know if it's going to sell or not. We'll see. The style was kind of cool, though. It has this center pocket with like a little metal sort of slide button. Very, very boxy fit. And then it has the same kind of detail, like a linen cuff, I think it is. With like a little sort of filigree style button um slouchy sleeve i don't know that one was a bit of a wild card so you live you learn i'll test it out next is a pair of j crew factory this is the city fit and they are stretch pants make sure you put stretch in your description as well because people like to know if pants have a little bit of give um and they are just a navy blue and white polka dot so again great for the season they are not cropped i would say that they're an ankle fit most likely of course i'll be including the inseam measurements but just a nice standard piece probably like 15 to 18 on those it has been so long since i found a vintage hawaiian shirt i really really like selling these they don't go for a lot in my opinion unless they're a certain brand or like rain spooner or something like that but i love the vivid prints and i love selling them just simply as like a quirky vintage piece this is the brand right here um i've never heard of pineapple connection made in korea size extra large i think it's a men's it definitely needs some steaming or go through the dryer or whatever um but it's really here maybe you see the print better here it's really cool it's got like little people uh, in sort of little kind of canoes and stuff like that and tropical islands and it's so bright and vivid still it's a button front short sleeve 
Um, sometimes I sell them as men's shirts, sometimes I sell them as women's like oversized vintage pieces where I'll like tie the front and roll the sleeves and stuff like that and style them that way. Um, so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this piece yet. First things first, I need to get the wrinkles out. It's just a little graphic t-shirt, this is by Junk Food, there's the tag and it's a women's, what size are you? size medium made in the USA and it's a very very bright purple it says I love wild things and it's where the wild things are uh, I'm not sure I'll have to check comps but I would imagine maybe like 15 to 20 all right so this is another one of those brands that I did mention it is Bryn Walker this is another kind of lag and lucky style I guess someone donated a whole bunch of their wardrobe to this one sale that had that kind of a uh, trend kind of style going on for them and um, so it's a black boxy piece but it has a very cool almost like a nautical style like sailor collar I think I would call that where it has like it's long at the back and shorter at the front Um, just a really nice piece so I think maybe around 30 for that uh, I'm not sure how much these are going to go for I wouldn't imagine a lot they're size small uh, Patagonia Capoline which is usually like they're kind of layers like base layers and things like that it's just a little pair of base layer pants but they're in really really good shape kind of like a legging so you would wear that under sort of other pants and things like that just to build up your layers for warmth I think when you're hiking and whatnot this one is a fail um <laughs> I put it in my bag and did not check comps there was really nowhere to check at this rummage sale to I just kind of went for it it was a dollar so you know whatever but it's a size 0x which I don't think I've ever seen before 14 to 16 but it's Maggie Barnes I think I I guess I thought this was something else I don't know I thought it might do well but it's a um it's a reversible maxi skirt so it has a really pretty floral watercolor on one side and then the other side is an animal print and um, the comps are not strong on this I think I'll be lucky if I get sort of $12 for that but oh well this is one of my best finds I, I was so excited so I saw it lying there it looks like this um I noticed several things about it I noticed the herringbone pattern which I really like and the fact that it felt like so such good quality um, and I also noticed like the seam work and stuff which kind of stood out to me just as like a really nice sort of style and um, it had no label in it and usually if I didn't notice anything special about it I probably wouldn't have dug any further but I decided to flip it over and sort of take a look and it's actually Max Mara which I've never found before it's their weekend line which is their like lower end line but when I say lower end they still retail between like four hundred and a thousand dollars so you know it's fine um but yeah I've never found this before this brand so I was super excited this little old church rummage sale to find this gorgeous um and I think it's is it a, it's wool it has like almost like a raw edge to it as well style wise I think this piece is really nice um let me check the fabric content as well yeah it's a virgin wool 98% virgin wool so it has so much going for it I think I'm going to list this a little bit higher since it's out of season and it might take a while um probably around the $65 mark um but yeah I was excited I ticked that one off my bucket list I did pick up one like hard good for it was a dollar even out dollar 24 you know what I'm saying at this point um but I wasn't sure if it was going to be teak or something so I kind of had a look at it it's very very heavy it's obviously I think this is where you put your dip and your chips and all that kind of stuff and on the back it says handcrafted in Haiti by old AULD and um, so looking at some of those comps by the AULD company actually pretty darn good um some of the pieces going for around 45 dollars so i figured i would go ahead and give it a go um i don't usually sell this kind of stuff but again i like to challenge myself that is one of the things i'm trying to do this season let's pick up some more hard goods and start learning more about more um so that i'm not in such teeny tiny little niche with clothing um so i'll let you know how this goes all right next piece is a maxi skirt a black linen maxi skirt again it's another flax piece which is just great um um, says be yourself it's a size small it's got a split up the back such a nice piece again maybe like 30 35 my next piece is swimwear it's old navy and it's a size extra large we all know what old navy looks like but i'll show you anyway <laughs> <laughs> there you go um and it is a one piece it has a style into it it's flamingo pink and it's like the 
twisted knot front something or other anyway it's twisted here it has tied halter necks it is a one piece and it has all the flattering ruching and then like kind of almost like a tummy cover as well uh, just remember when you're buying swimwear and I know it seems weird at a yard sale but just flip it inside out and double check you haven't got anything interesting going on there and quite frankly the same with the cups um, so I double checked all that there's no signs of wear or anything like that so I don't know maybe like 15 to 20 this bad boy is a bit of a wild card as well again a dollar we'll find out what happens uh, guest jeans glamour which I don't think is anything particularly interesting high end you know it's just guess uh, it's a size medium but I got it for the style so it's a long dress long uh, long dress long coat button up and it's got the faux fur collar faux fur cuffs and like I said oh and the faux fur bottom hem don't forget that and uh, yeah button up front I think it's a little dusty uh, but it definitely has that kind of it's almost like a 70s vibe some people use the word boho in that kind of style as well um i don't know i'm probably gonna list it around 35 40 and just see if there's any interest try and like read the market as it were this sweater i thought was so nice it's by one girl who this is their little tag which i think is sometimes sold at anthropology correct me if i'm wrong i don't think this piece is but i picked it up for two main reasons um number one it's a cashmere blend 30 percent cashmere no holes that i could see even going over with a fine tooth comb just a really nice simple gray sweater but it has a really nice detail so all the way down from the neckline down the arms there are different colored and different patterned oh my gosh hold still carly let the camera do its thing there we go so you can start start to see like some are metal some are just kind of like printed just really really nice all the way down the arms and then at the cuffs it has like a whole bunch of buttons there at the detail as well I just thought it was a really really nice piece and actually looking this up or one similar by this brand with the buttons running all the way down they look like they were going for like 35 to 40 ish so watch the space <laughs> So this is a vintage skirt. This is the tag. Is it Alberoy maybe? I'm not sure of the brand. There we go. It's a cute little tag. It doesn't have a fabric content, unfortunately, though it does feel like a wool blend. But I loved it. It is a lavender purple, sort of a core, almost like an accordion. It looks like an accordion pleat, but it's really more ribbed knit. Um, sort of like a midi skirt. Oh my gosh, this thing. I wish it the colour could be done like justice. It is so, so pretty. So I I couldn't leave it behind hopefully someone else will think the same um this is ll bean women's medium i don't know what this is i'm gonna be honest with you there's the label it is plaid which is part of the reason why i grabbed it but it's super super boxy is it a nightshirt someone tell me it's blue and red plaid and i'm thinking that it must be like a nighty of some kind it's cotton um at first i thought it was just like again that kind of lagging looky like boxy fit dress which i suppose you could like put a belt around it and wear as a dress um but yeah i'm not sure maybe it's a night shirt i'll have to do some research and um, this brand i'm not familiar familiar with it's gypsy made in the usa i figured i would grab it and try and learn something they're almost like palazzo pants like they're kind of um high-waisted with kind of like an elastic waist and then um they're just really really wide leg but they have a really nice pattern on them again festival boho all that good stuff um figured they were worth it for a dollar we'll give them a go and the very last item that i have to show you are these cabela's jeans they're 30 by 34 so they are men's um but as you can see here they're all fleece lined they're super super crazy heavy um all fleece inside which is so good for working outside they do have one teeny tiny little scuff right here but other than that nice dark wash really good condition um, and those can be pretty expensive when they uh retail in the store so i figured i would grab them and we'll look up comps and we'll see what all we can get all right you guys that's everything that is my entire rummage sale haul from this saturday morning morning so I moved really quickly to pick up all of these items some of the items maybe I wouldn't have picked up like if I'd gone through my bag but really the majority of it I'm pretty happy with now I just need to crack on and photograph list and get everything up as quickly as possible don't forget to say hello in the comments and let me know how your sourcing is going what is your favorite item that you picked up in your last sort of sourcing excursion let me know what is your number one the mine is that Max Mara 
uh, jacket I think. I'm excited to learn a bit more about that and list it and see how it does um, but I would love to hear what your favourite thing is that you got recently too. If you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up. If you are new here please do think about hitting that subscribe button down below so that you can come back and hang out and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye you guys!